underfloor heating can be installed on existing floors when redoing the floor covering. Underfloor heating is essential in the colder parts of the country. However, your builder probably hasn't taken this into consideration when your home was built. All is not lost, you can actually get separate kits which can go underneath the surface of your floor when you are resurfacing your floors, obviously. At your local builders, they have underfloor heating kits, whether it be tile warm or warm up, and these are ideal because they go just underneath the surface that you're going to be putting on top of your slab. That keeps the heat close to the surface and not buried down deep. What you will need, a tile warm kit, a steel float with rounded corners, a fast set tile adhesive, tiles, adhesive, spreader, spacer, grout, sealer, and a thermostat that is for the tile warm kit. Prep your floor as per tiling, and remember you need to plug your element in. So if you don't have a plug point, consult an electrician and they'll be able to help you out. Otherwise, we've got a plug point over there, so we're gonna run our wires all the way back to that point. Also, this is gonna be a kitchen, so we're actually gonna have cupboards here, so we need to move our element away from the wall. The last thing you wanna do is actually heat underneath the cupboards. To begin with, connect the climber guard included in the kit to check your system will work. Leave the climber guard connected throughout the installation process, including during the tiling. This device will let you know if any damage occurs during installation, which allows you to correct before continuing. Plan your layout of the element and power source and draw the position onto the floor with chalk or a pencil. Arrange the heating element to cover 60 to 80% of the floor area. Bathrooms generally have 100% coverage below the tiles. Mark the position of the thermostats or electrical supply. Below the controller, chip away the floor with a small chisel to form a cavity about 10 millimeters deep to allow the connector box to be recessed into the floor. Use a primer in the kit to prime your surface beforehand and allow to dry thoroughly. Lay down the element as per plan. Cut the tapes where necessary to lay the element with a gap of 50 millimeters between the wires. Do not walk on the element or damage it. If you need to walk on it, lay cardboard down first before treading. Pull the wax paper off one side of the double sided tape a little at a time and then stick to the floor. Ensure you keep it straight. Do the same to the other side to keep the element straight and under slight tension. Never cross the wires or lay them less than 50 millimeters apart. Lay green reinforcing mesh sticky side down over the heater. Cover all parts of the element and the connector block. Cut to fit where necessary. Press down the mesh so that it sticks to the floor, keeping the element in position and do not overlap the mesh. Mix good quality fast set floor tile adhesive with liquid as directed by the product instructions to make a smooth paste. Make up the liquid of water and Climaflex additive, 20 kg of tile adhesive equals 5 square meters. Spread tile adhesive evenly over the mesh with a steel float. Make sure the element stays in position and that the adhesive pushes through the mesh. Make sure the element is covered completely. Let the tile adhesive harden and dry completely. Do not allow any heavy or sharp objects to fall on, stand on, run over or be dragged across the heating elements while being installed. And keep the climber guard attached until tiling is complete. A rug buddy is a great alternative to your traditional heaters. The heating element plugs into a normal plug and sits between a non-slip mat and your own rug. There are great under laminate and under carpet DIY heating options available in the warm up range. The heating sits between the underlay and the carpet or the laminate and heats up within 30 minutes of turning it on. No long waiting periods before you feel the warmth, thereby saving energy. All the instructions that you need to lay under floor heating is actually on the box. If you need any help, go down and ask the guys at Builders and they'll show you exactly how easy it is to lay underfloor heating when reflooring your room.